We made it to Colorado! Whoop whoop! My home state. Alright, so we're finally here in Colorado and we are loving it already. The temperatures dropped at least 25 degrees. Yeah, we couldn't get this temperature back in San Antonio, that's for sure. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, we decided to start our um, adventure here in Colorado with a bike ride. And before you watch... Nobody I, died. <laughs> nobody died. But I, I am not responsible for anything I say when I'm having a near-death experience. And I had a couple of those on this ride. Rookie. <laughs> No, you won't. That wasn't bad. It was some loose, that was some loose sand. That was fast, and the freaking thing is so narrow. Use your back brake. You think I wasn't on my brake? <laughs> Shift. There you go. Shift. <laughs> he almost made it. Sharp turn. That's a little hairy right there. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. <laughs> you could have made that. Dude. And if I didn't? You wouldn't have fallen far. There's a ditch right there. That's a clip. <laughs> this was not on the map. Herring hairpin turn. Okay, get on. Shift your weight back. Back, back break. That's some bullshit. <laughs> I cannot even slow down. Babe, you have to shift your weight back and then hit your, ride your back break. I'm riding my back break and my ass is shimmying. <laughs> okay. You want me to die? <laughs> Shimmy your ass down here. We don't have enough life insurance for about fucking. Come on. You're doing fine, babe. God, I'm about to cry. See? Put your... You have to shift your weight back. You have to come off the seat a little bit when you do that. My ass is all over the place. <laughs> I should have enough ass weight on my seat to where it shouldn't matter. What'd you do? I stopped. <laughs> this is not a beginner course. It didn't say anything about a beginner course. Obviously. <laughs> there you are. I beat you. <laughs> we made it. So I came out and hooked up my black tank. 
flush hose, um, and when I connected it and turned the water on, I should hear water rushing in. I don't hear anything. So I've gone in and I checked the uh, black tank level indicator. Nothing's coming in, it's not filling up. So I think there's a problem somewhere between here and the tank. All right, so in the meantime, I'm gonna kill the water. I'm gonna take my flush hose, run it through the window into the bathroom, straight into the toilet, and see if I can fill it up and, and um, see if maybe something on the inside of the tank is stuck to the nozzle. Um, see if I can free it or unclog it from there. All right, so I've run the, my flush tank hose in through the window and straight into the toilet. Um, now I'm trying to fill up the black tank so I can see if I can free whatever's clogging the inlet on the, the black tank flush. So we'll fill it up and we wait and see. I forgot to add that I've also added a cup of borax to a gallon of hot water, um, let it dissolve, and then poured it down in the tank. So hopefully we'll, we'll put that in, let it soak, and flush it and see, uh, see what we come up with. We are headed to our next baseball game. So we're headed to a Rockies game. At Coors Field in Denver, Colorado. So it's gonna make six out of 30 baseball stadiums. Um, some of them, of course, we hit before we started RVing, but the goal is to hit them all. All 30. So we were gonna take you guys up Pikes Peak, um, which is here in Colorado Springs. It's 15,000 feet up and it's a pretty scary ride. But unfortunately this week they are um, practicing for an international race that they do every year. The Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Yeah, Hill Climb. So these crazy, crazy people get in their race car and race to see um, who can have the shortest time to the top. But back when I was growing up here, most of the road was dirt, a, a dirt road to the top. So those cars really got to sliding and skidding around the corners. Now it's, I think it's, it's fully, paved. Fully, yeah. paved, fully paved all the way up, yeah. Yeah, so it's not too bad. But of course, every time you come here, you have to go to the top for a donut. Who doesn't love donuts? All right, good morning, everyone. Sorry I look so crazy, but we have our first major emergency, and I thought you'd want to know. There will be no coffee in the Farley household today. <laughs> Although that's not a serious maintenance issue, it is definitely a caffeine problem. So I have to have my caffeine. So somebody's making a run. It's not going to be me. I'm on it. <laughs> all right, you guys will all be happy to know crisis is averted. Well, temporarily anyway, until we get a new coffee pot. Phil saved the day, got us some coffee. The funny thing is, he Googled Duncan, and um, the Google Maps took him to the middle of nowhere with no Duncan. So he had to stop by Starbucks. Got us some Starbucks. That'll get us through the day until we can get us a pot. Luckily, we are still in Colorado Springs because if this had happened um, tomorrow, we would be out in the middle of nowhere at a state park, um, and then it really would have been a crisis. So today's mission is to get a new coffee maker. We have really, really enjoyed being in Colorado Springs. The temperatures have been phenomenal. Of course, there's a view everywhere. Perfect, perfect weather. Yeah, everywhere you look, there's a view. We will for sure come back here. We don't know when, but it is on the list to come back. We would like to spend more time here and explore a little more than we've been able to. There's just so much to do here, and, and one week is not enough time to do it. Yeah, sure. definitely not. So, on to the Broadmoor. We'll let you guys check that out. If we have time today, we're going to try and make it over to the Olympic Training Center. That was on our list, too. So, um, you know, between seeing family and hanging out with a reunion, we haven't had a lot of time to explore. So we'll see what we can squeeze in today. Oh, and at the top of the list, before the training center, is a coffee, coffee pot. pot.
had a great time in Colorado Springs, but today's moving day. Let's hit the road for the next adventure.